Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will discuss about the some basic question, basic understanding. What is the basic eligible criteria to become an embedded or VLSI engineer in India? You know, embedded and VLSI systems are very very upcoming domain in India. If you look into the Indian growth and economic growth. India spends billion of dollars every year to bring electronics consumer devices to India. As the Make in India program is thriving now, right now in India, there are a lot of manufacturers are looking to Make in India and Made in India. But there is a huge skill gap in these two domains. Most of the electronics manufacturing industry will need embedded and VLSI engineer in very very high bulk level. To sustain the need of in the market, but the study pattern in Indian colleges and universities are not as per for producing quality engineers in these fields. The essence of VLSI and embedded is in practical product development. Practical mindset is more important than the theoretical knowledge. Indian and most of the universities universities focuses to give theoretical knowledge to people instead of core practical and development skill to develop their career. that is the only biggest barrier today in india for students to get into enter into vlsi and embedded field any graduate who would have studied the basic of electronics is eligible to do a course on in the embedded and vlsi system any engineering graduate is eligible even mca basic electronics students also are eligible to become an electronics and vlsi engineer most often students if there is anyone who has exposure in computer programming and electronics can approach to enter into embedded and vlsi industry what they have to do is to acquire a basic understanding to enter in this post in this tutorial i will mention seven important points which will help you to get into some clarity you may be sometimes surprised to get emphasized on the point that embedded and vlsi are nothing but practical knowledge and application of electronics electronics is basically achieved by circuits and circuits can be divided in discrete circuits and integrated circuits that is we all know if we cannot put anything or everything into an ic if or and if some ready made components are available we use them to achieve electronic circuits this is called discrete this is filled is known as hardware we go to electronics market and gather all the components and solder them to form a pcb printed circuit board since these components are soldered to the pcb and circuit is printed on the board it will be very very difficult to change but ultimately to make a tangible electronics border product hardware is must so there is always a demand for a hardware engineer in the market in ic there are three kind of ic are available one is asic uh, which uh, is basically fixed circuit fabricated into silicon most user cannot change or configure it second o is apg here is a circuit is flexible circuit which is configurable and fabricated inside silicon and third option is microprocessor here is circuit is flexible circuit which is programmable and fabricated inside silicon now if we look into what is asic the asic basically a low power chip on high volume small in size and fast but investment which is needed to make an asic will be very very huge normally big companies do this activity it requires vlsi knowledge like verilog vsdl and c++ digital programming in the pg the pg is high power chip on low volume fast but it takes more time to implement it is also requires vlsi knowledge to develop applications on fpg very log vsdl and digital knowledge are required to make the circuits in fpg microprocessor the microprocessor is high power chip but slow easy to use this requires programming knowledge in c or c++ to make an application for it the designing of an asic and fpg is called vlsi and when you design application over microcontroller microprocessor it is called an embedded now you understand what is the basic difference 
both VLSI and embedded field are high demand industry. Since electronics and communication engineers are not generally not trained in programming due to their coursework, computer science students get more preference for embedded. That is the also reason electronic student finds it difficult to enter into embedded market and feel feels that there is no job opportunity in embedded field. Actually, lots of job opportunities are available in embedded field, but EC students can, giz, can get these jobs because they lack programming ability. Even VLSI field is all about programming. This field requires electronic knowledge also. That is the reason computer science students could not able to enter into VLSI. The industry prefers electronic student. This is the reason electronics engineer think there are a lot of job opportun opportunities in VLSI. Actually, embedded job opportunities are more than VLSI. Since electronics and computer science both enter into embedded, embedded job opportunities look less in for EC students. There are enormous job opportunities in these fields, both embedded and, and VLSI. Now, this is the role of the student to take that ownership and responsibility that how he prepare for these fields during his studies. If you follow an, our Indian university syllabus or teaching most of the universities, you will come out as useless as a degree paper with a degree paper and only eligible for IT support services or BPO jobs. So plan carefully during your degree, utilize your time very very effectively. Do not depend on your college for knowledge or skill on these fields. You need to go through the internet and find out the resources and talk to the people who are working in the industry, take their help and this, is, this will be the best way to get the idea to what is happening in the industry. So now you understand little bit about that how you can start to think about the VLSI and embedded system. Now you understand that what are the eligibility, now you go, to, go out and check that what is your eligibility and what you are doing currently right now to get into the VLSI and embedded field. Thank you very much. We will see you again soon. Thank you very much. Bye bye.